Hi, my name is Steve and this is Graphic and Design. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually give some color to any picture that you have traced in a very quick and simple way. So you can go from something like I, we see this rose here into something like this. Let's get started. Okay, so we load and we put the image uh, where we, that we want to trace. Uh, first of all, this video is not about tracing, it's just about giving the color to the different parts that you trace. So for a starter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my image and I'm going to bring the opacity around about 70%, I think it's more than enough, there we go. And then I click again and I'm going to actually lock it. So I can't move it, I can't do anything with this image. Now, next step, I'm going to create a layer on top and this is the one that I'm going to use for the trace. So I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm going to start tracing. Uh, let me zoom a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start tracing. For this one, basically what I'm going to do is just a simple trace. Now, things to take in consideration that I'm using two pixels. Uh, don't use one because of the step that comes later on. Use two or three will be more than enough. And the other consideration that you have to have is basically uh, when you finish each of the, your tracing. Okay, so basically we have something like that. Uh, and then escape and I start tracing another part. So let me do like this, let me move it and something like this. Again, this is not about tracing, so I'm not taking too much care of this. But what is very important is this part. Hold on a second, let's go there, escape. So we get out of the mode of continuous mode. So what we do is if you zoom in, it shouldn't be any gap in between the different uh, lanes or lines that you actually draw. Now, to make sure that you are actually, the lines are uh, overlapping, what you do is first uh, you come to the node tool uh, shortcut A and with your snapping on, you click on your line that you want to move, you click and drag the um, end point and you will see when you go into the middle of the other line you'll see there is a on the middle there is that yellow line that actually it tells you that you are snapping now to the center so there is you are you make sure there is no gap in between any of the lines that you are um, creating okay so i'm not going to sit you through the entire thing of tracing all these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the tracing and then I'll see you when I finish and I come back. Okay, so now that we finish our tracing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the different curves that I created and I'm going to make a group with this one. And now that I finished tracing, I'm going to put it 100% and I'm going to lock it again. Perfect, so now we have this group that is all my tracing. What I'm going to do is very quickly right click on the and then i'm going to duplicate now the one that i duplicated i'm going to right click back again and i'm going to rasterize so now what happened is this one it became um, an image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one and put it inside that group and then i'm going to move it actually to the bottom so it's the last image that is in there. Perfect. I'm going to click on the first curve 
then I'm going to press shift to the last one and I'm going to make them invisible for the moment for the time being so now what we see here is basically what we have is a rasterized image of the previous um, tracing now again the most important thing is that you need to take in consideration is there is no gap in between the lines because then if you do this uh, rasterizing and there is a gap all the flood or the, the painting is going to escape from here and fill up the entire image and we don't want that so now is we need to apply some color to um, this uh, image that we have here so to do that is in affinity designer you have what is called persona so basically if you come here to the top left you will see that you have actually three personas in affinity designer one is the designer persona in the designer persona everything is done on using vectors wherever you want to treat as a raster or as an image you can do it directly into the pixel persona in that way you don't need to go out to another application and do things there save it and then coming back important place or whatever things like that so what we do is if you click in there you'll see that now your toolbar and everything has changed because now this is actually an image that you are working with okay so now is let's select our um, rows that we have there and obviously with our uh, pixel layer selected what we are going to do first we are going to use the color picker i is your short key okay so with that one we are going to choose a color and then we are going to use the the bucket all depend how which software are you coming from and the short key is actually g we click in there now let me um hide the the image so what we have here is the most important thing is the tolerance actually so what happened is this let me just to illustrate this let me double click on there and let's choose some color that is quite awful so <laughs> if i come here and i put a tolerance of seven for example if i click in in there and then i try to fill up you'll see there is gaps in between the color and the line itself now let me undo this if i choose something like 100 percent everything gets uh, painted so what happened is because of the tolerance this is not good enough and goes to the other side and obviously floods everything but we don't want that you can choose what we what you is best for you so i think it's 70 let's try with 70 how it goes this seems to be pretty pretty good you see there is no gap in between there is no white spaces in between the color and the lines okay so with that one set let's do this and let's bring our image back again so again i i choose a color okay and then g and i cover that one again that one so again i and then g and you repeat the process until you finish covering or coloring giving absolutely everything so i'll see you just now when i finish now we come back to the um, uh, to the designer persona and i'm going to choose all these back again and i'm going to give it the okay so i know that this method method is not um 100 percent but is the one that i find out that actually is in, in certain way is a uh, um, workaround for what you in you have in Adobe Illustrator that I think is called live painting. Unfortunately, you don't have that in uh, Affinity. At least you don't have it now. Uh, but I think that is a very nice workaround and allows you to do tracing uh, without the need of creating every single little thing or uh, different shapes as a shape and then giving color. Uh, 
takes too much time if you want to do something like this and this one gives quite pretty good results i hope you like the video uh, any comment any suggestions please leave them in the section down below thank you very much for watching and like always uh, see you in the next video thank you